Damn it, it's locked. Guess I'm blasting my way through. Sweet. Huh? Crap, my phase gun's almost out of energy. I'll need to lay off it for a while, but there's no turning back now. Whoa, what was that? The Sword of Light. that. This is Raina's hairpin. What's it doing in here? If Raina's hairpin was dropped in here, that could only mean one thing. this to you. Who are you? Hurry! He kidnapped Reyna! I'm Reyna's friend. Is she down this way? Reyna's been taken away. Deep inside the Salva Mines. Alan paid me to build this bizarre altar for him. I think he's set on taking her there. I tried to stop him, but he overpowered me. So he's inside there? Right. Be careful. Something's not right with Alan. All right, wait here, okay? I'll come back for you once I find Reyna. Sorry that I can't help.
I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Say that's worth 10 out of 10. That's worth 10 out of 10.
this. I hope. Meteor! Pop! Air slap! Yeah! Ha! Got you! Ha! Not too shabby. Say that's worth 10 out of 10. We can win this, I hope. That's one for us. One for us. Not too shabby. I'd say that was 8 out of 10.
Elena! That's close enough. So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alan? Love with... Oh, no! Mr. Kenny! for
I'd say that was 8 out of 10. The power! Are you all right? Y yeah What happened to this guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan, you were such a good person, too. Reyna... Why did this have to happen? Uh... Alan! He's still breathing. Where am I? Huh? Reyna, why are you here? What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Now let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that, but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan... Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, 
Rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah, uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? The Sorcery Globe. As of now, the Sorcery Globe seems to be the only thing on this planet that has any connection to outer space. I don't have anything else that's even close to a lead right now. Knowing what I know now, it's hard to think of the Sorcery Globe as just a normal meteorite. Finding more about it could prove to be more valuable than I thought. All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Raina! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Raina, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that, but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor. Help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over some. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Oh, Raina! Are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. What's the matter with her? Oh, well, 
I can't have myself catch a cold out here. Back inside for me. And for you, too. Yes, sir. Would you join me for a little chat before bed? Sure. You know, when that girl volunteered to go with you, there was a part of me that knew she'd do exactly what she did. Why is that? Raina helped heal Alan's injuries, didn't she? Yeah. That healing power she has, nobody else in the village has it. How do you mean? Allow me to be frank. Reyna is not Wester's real daughter. Wester found her inside the sacred forest. Rena was only two years old then. was genuinely surprised when Wester showed up with a toddler in tow. When Wester told everyone she'd raised the child as her own, nobody raised so much as a single objection. I suppose they felt sympathy for the couple, as they had never been blessed with a child of their own. Does Raina know about this? No, she hasn't been told. I thought it was still too early. She could already say her own name when we found her, so we know for a fact that Reyna is her real name. Other than that, we have no idea where she came from, nor the reason she possesses the healing power that she has. In other words, everything about her is a total mystery to us. You don't have any clue at all? Her only possession was the pendant around her neck. But that does not give any insight about her past. There isn't anything aside from that. I had no idea. Look how late it is. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. I've already prepared the bed upstairs for you, so please. Please, take good care of Reyna for me. I promise I will. Reyna. Ah. 
That's odd. It sounds like something's hitting the window. Is it coming from the balcony? Raina? What's wrong? I want to talk to you. Can you come down for a moment? I'll be right there. Thanks. Huh? Where did the mayor go? Raina? Oh, there she is. So, what did you want to talk about at this hour? Well, I told my mother I'm going, and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. A reason? What do you mean? My mom. She's not my real mother. I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. Father? What am I supposed to do? Please, keep your voice down. We wouldn't want Reyna to hear us. That girl's passed out on her bed, now that she's finally had enough of crying for her dead father. I am sure this is just as much a shock for you as it is for her. But you are her mother. You need to stay calm for her sake. Stay calm? How am I supposed to stay calm? My husband is dead. Wester. Without him, what am I... What am I going to do? I still haven't told her yet. Now that he's gone, I'll have to tell her all by myself. Can you imagine having to tell your daughter that she's not your real child? I knew I should have thrown away that damn pendant. Why didn't I get rid of the last connection to her real parents? She would have been mine, my real daughter. So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. 
I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. But the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant... I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... Good night. Take care of Raina for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Be careful out on the road. Of course. I'll be fine as long as Mr. Kenny is with me. I suppose so. Rena. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'll be back soon. Saying goodbye like this makes it all the better when I say hello again, right? Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Reina? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. 
wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. He will certainly welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the king pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. Easier than I thought. What's wrong, Reyna? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my father. I have to hand it to you, Reyna. Losing your father must have been terrible, but you've been dealing with it so calmly. Oh, not at all. I cried all the time back when it happened. What's your father like, Mr. Kenny? My father? He's a great man, respected by everyone who knows him. Wow, I'm jealous. He sounds wonderful. You must be really proud of him, Mr. Kenny. Yeah, he's brilliant. Maybe too brilliant. Admiral, we've entered orbit around planet Milokinia. All right. 
Give me a surface scan. This is an M-sized planet. Breathable E-type atmosphere. Looks like it's got a lot of ore deposits, especially chromium. I'm detecting life forms, but no evidence of sentient life. The usual, then. I'll add the data to our star map. Wait a minute, Admiral. There's a point on the surface that's turning up dark in the scan. What do you mean? There's an energy field present. But why would there be one here? Do we know anything about this field? Checking our database. No matches found. All right, we'll have to land on Milokinia and check it out ourselves. Get us down as quickly as possible. Ensign Kenny, I'm appointing you to the landing party. If I may, Admiral, my duty is to assist you at your command post, not to explore unknown planets. I'm going down to Milokinia too, Ensign. You're coming with me. Admiral, what if something happens to you down on the surface? We're here to discover the unknown, to unlock the secrets of the universe. Who could ask for anything more? I'm just, I'm just an old man who's too decrepit for the battlefield. Are you trying to deny me the last bit of fun I can have in my life? But sir, never mind. Understood, Admiral. Kurtzman, you take the bridge. Be careful down there, sir. Let's get moving. So tell me, what logical reason is there for Claude to be in the landing party? Beats me. Probably dear old dad trying to prop up his son's service record. Ah, too bad we all couldn't be the Admiral's son, right? Well, nothing we can really do about it. Even someone like Admiral Ronix J. Kenny can't help but spoil the kid a little. Is something wrong? N no Nothing.
Here they come! We got enemies! The trip took a lot longer than I thought. There's nobody around. The castle looks like it's locked up too. Let's stay at the inn for the night. We can visit the castle tomorrow. You've been quite a stranger lately. Sorry I haven't been around, Aunt Rachel. How are things going? Oh, as well as always, I'd say. Oh, found a new man, did you? Worrying Westa to no end, no doubt. He's not my boyfriend! Well, you didn't have to shout it like that. Huh? Oh, no nothing. Well, you're in luck. I've got a lovely vacant room just for the two of you. How about I let you stay there for the night? On the house. Are you sure that's okay? Oh, nothing but the best for my niece on her special night. I told you already, it's not like that at all. I swear. Not at all, huh? Come to think of it, Mr. Flack paid a visit to town a couple of weeks earlier. Diaz was here? But he left soon afterwards. Not that he had any particular destination in mind. I see. 
Well, make yourselves comfy. Thank you so much, Aunt Rachel. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Take care of Raina for me, all right? Uh, yes, of course. By the way, I couldn't help but wonder, who's Mr. Flack? You mean Diaz? She mentioned the name earlier, so I was just curious. His full name's Diaz Flack. He used to live in Arlia like me. Something terrible happened to him, though, a long time ago, and because of that, he left the village. Well, I'll try to avoid the subject, then. Thanks. Do you mind if I make one request, though? What is it? You really don't have to call me Mr. Kinney. It just makes me feel weird when I call you Reyna. Okay, I'll remember that from now on. Well, let's get ready for bed then. It's getting late. <laughs> Looks like it. Good night, Claude. Good night, Reyna. Well, how did things go? We had a great night's sleep, Aunt Rachel. Thanks for asking. Oh, you know that's not what I meant. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. He... he had three eyes!
This is the front desk for the audience chamber. This is the place. I'll write our names in for you. Ah, I see you're here on behalf of Mayor Regis of Arlia. Yes, sir. I'd like to have an audience as soon as possible, if I may. Very well. If you could kindly wait until I make the arrangements. Thank you very much. You are welcome to look around the castle until the time comes. That would be great. Thank you. We're in, Claude.
Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember to be careful. Pardon me. It is an honor, Your Majesty. Ah, it's you, Reyna. It has been a long time, hasn't it? I can hardly recognize you. You've grown to be even more beautiful than what I've heard from Regis. I'm glad to see you in good spirits, sire. Oh, there's no need for formalities, Reyna. What can I do for you today? Yes, sire. We have begun to conduct an investigation into the Sorcery Globe. As part of that, we were wondering if Your Majesty could give us whatever information on the globe and its properties that you currently possess. Heavens, you're the one conducting this investigation? Yes, sire, and we are treating the job with as much resolve and determination as it deserves. Well, if that be the case, then it wouldn't do to hold anything back from you. I don't need to remind you of all the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have occurred worldwide lately. However, the exact cause of this activity remains a total mystery even to us. Have you given any thought to the idea that the Sorcery Globe is behind all this? Well, without some kind of evidence to back up that theory, it is difficult to be 100% sure about anything. I am afraid we know very little about the machinations of the Sorcery Globe ourselves. Or rather, it would be more accurate to say we know nothing at all. Haven't you sent a team to investigate it? I have, but unfortunately, any hope for their return seems to have perished at this point. I hear that people and monsters are fighting a pitched struggle in El Kingdom territory at present. Unfortunately, few details have been given on the scope of the battle or the number of casualties incurred as a result. Are there any ships right now that can take us to El? There are, but they have been strictly regulated. Wild rumors have a way of spreading quickly during wartime, needless to say. To sum up the current situation, despite all our best efforts, we have failed to obtain even a trace of information about the Sorcery Globe. I see. That's why we've decided to enlist the help of any willing adventurers in the area. That explains all of the adventurers we saw in town. I hardly need to remind you, Reyna, that your investigation into the Sorcery Globe is an extremely dangerous endeavor. If it were up to me, I would sincerely suggest that you call off this investigation immediately. Don't worry, I'll be all right. I have Mr. Kenny on my side here. Oh, so you have that much faith in his strength. In any case, it looks like you could do with some better equipment. Hmm. Here, His Majesty has granted you a travel permit along with a small parting gift. But your majesty! Please, take it. It's a perfectly fitting payment for helping us root out the cause of this cataclysm. Thank you so much, your majesty. 
If you're traveling to the El Kingdom, the interim transport ship departing from Kurik would be best. We appreciate your generous support, Your Majesty. <laughs> I hardly even opened my mouth. It's not just you. Even I felt like I had butterflies in my stomach. What is the meaning of this? I believe I procured this fair and square. What the hell are you talking about, lady? You practically stole it from me! Stole? <laughs> exactly when did I partake in something anywhere even close to stealing? Enough of your crap! Hand it over or you're dead! Wait a minute. I can't just let this go on. Claude? Hmm? Who the hell's this little brat? Hey, you! That's no way to speak to a lady, you know. What was that? Let's be a little more civilized here, all right? Are you talking to me, kid? If I recall correctly, you were gonna fight me, not this little boy. What? I'll kill you, you little... If you want to pick a fight, you'd best choose your opponents more carefully. Not that I'm particularly enthralled with getting in a fight over something I didn't do. You're gonna pay for this! Hopefully that taught him something. I must thank you, my boy. You were quite the courageous one. Boy? Your bravery has struck a chord inside of me. Truly brilliant. Uh, <laughs> it was nothing. You're blushing, Claude. By the way, are you the couple who had an audience with the king earlier? How'd you know that? I just happened to be on a tour of the castle at the time, and I overheard some guards gossiping about two people who got special permission to jump ahead in the King's schedule. And you realized that was us? I wondered what made that pair so special, so I sneaked into the throne room to find out for myself. That's... Impressive! I have some information that I believe you will appreciate. 
Without going into too many details, I just happened to get my hands on this map from an auction that I attended not long ago. Supposedly, this map shows the way to an ancient treasure hidden inside a certain cave. Would you be interested in joining me as I explore the cave? We really don't have time to go treasure hunting right now. Oh? Are you sure? You might uncover a hint or two related to your own goal. Well, would you like to come along? An ancient treasure. Maybe it'll provide me with some leads. Sounds like fun. I'll take the offer. Ah, I knew you'd come around. My name is Celine Jules. I'm a treasure hunting enthusiast. Now then, let me show you the map one more time. See this? First, we'll set off for the Cross Cave, which lies east of Cross. Cross Cave? You mean that natural cave? Everyone knows that place. Indeed, it's the very one. I would have thought that anything worth excavating in there was long gone by now. Well, supposedly, this map just recently came to light for the first time. Wow! Right. Let's make sure we have all the equipment we need before we depart. I could get used to having you two around. I'm not feeling very good about this. Hmm? Did you say something? Me? No. Let's go.